guys, it's almost Christmas, so today I'm going to be teaching you Jingle Bell Rock. It's a really complicated song, but I think you can get down most of it before Christmas, maybe play it with your family and friends. Um, oh, and also, by the way, if we can get to 50 subs and 100 likes in total in the next two months, I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. So, but right now, let's jump in and figure the song out. So... Right now, I'm going to teach you the um, intro to Jingle Bell Rock, which goes like this. Okay, so um, basically I'm going to break this video up into sections because it's a really hard song to teach all at once. So the intro. You're going to start with, so you're going to take your first finger and your second finger, and you're going to put your first finger on the 14th fret of the high E string, and your second finger on the 15th fret of the B string, and play those two notes. And then you're going to take your first finger and bar the uh, 14th fret um, on the high E and B string. So it goes. Play three each time, and then you go back to the string with the uh, 14 and 15th fret. And then, and then you take your third finger and stretch all the way to the 17th fret. So, And then you play that with this note. So you're playing these two notes. So it goes. Play that again. And then you're going to slide down and bar the 10th fret um, for the high E and B string. And then you're going to go this. And then you're going to bar the same two strings but on the 12th fret with your third finger. And then bend both those strings. And then go back to the 10th fret bar. Okay, so, so far we have. Then we're going to do this, which is basically the bar on the 12th fret. But instead of doing the high E and B strings, we're just going to do the B and the G string. And then we have this, which is same thing like this one. We just moved it down and cut out the high E string. So, and then you hammer on with your second finger on the eleventh fret of the G string. So, then you take your third finger and do twelfth fret of the D. And then this finger is actually going to be barring all the way through now, and you're going to hit the 10th fret of the high E. So, so far we have. Let's play that again. And then we're going to go on the low E string, I'm going to go 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open. So. So we're going to be kind of palm muting that so it has more of a bassy tone to it. Okay guys, now we're going to be playing... Um, Like basically, like the main part of the song. So to start it off, we're gonna have this chord. Which is where we're gonna be taking our first finger and barring the first two strings on the 10th fret, and then taking your second finger and putting it on the 11th fret of the G string. So I'm gonna play that three times. 
and then we're gonna go to this it's kind of like an f shape kind of like a c shape um we're gonna be playing this later too but it's um first finger is on the first string ninth fret second finger is on the 10th fret of the second string third finger is on the third string 11th fret so so first we have this shape and we're gonna move to this shape where you're gonna be barring the seventh fret of the first two strings and then hammering on with your third finger on the ninth fret of the first string so so, so far we have. And then you basically bar the first three strings also on the seventh fret. Uh, try not to play the first string as much, just mainly play the second and third strings. You can slide down, so it can sound like. Or. So, so far we have. And then we play that again. But then we have this uh, new chord. It's kind of hard for me. But, um, basically the way I play it is you're going to, it's kind of bar chord, basically. Yeah. Um, you're going to be barring from the fifth, yeah, fifth string down to the first. You're muting the sixth string. And then you're gonna be having your um, third finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and your pinky on the seventh fret of the uh, second string. So it sounds like this. But you're only gonna be playing the second, third, fourth, and fifth string. So. But yeah. And then. You go, and then you hit like the final first string, so it goes. So far we have. And then we play that C shape again, except move down to where the first string is on, uh, the first finger is on the first string, seventh fret, second finger, seventh, the second string, uh, eighth fret, Third finger, third string, ninth fret. And then you're gonna hammer on with your pinky so it sounds like. And then you're gonna play this shape where you're basically, you're barring the uh, first three strings on the second fret with your first finger. And then, so, and then adding your third finger right here on the third fret first string. So it sounds like. So after you go, and then you can play open on the first three strings. And then you can do a little walk up so it goes. So open on the first string, second fret, third fret. And then slide, so basically you guys know an F shape, where it's you're barring with your first finger on the first two strings, and then your second finger is playing the um, third string, second fret, and then your third finger is playing the fourth string, third fret. That's an F. You're just going to slide that up to where your first finger is barring on the fifth fret. So it's gonna go. Then hammer on with your pinky to the uh, first string, seventh fret. Then do the walk again, but then just play the chord. And then remember this um, kind of C shape that we did on the seventh uh, fret, where it's right here, where it's um, seventh fret, um, eighth fret, ninth fret. You're gonna be playing that three times, so. Well, 
Well, not really three times five, but. Maybe gonna be playing this chord where your first finger is on the first string on the fifth fret. Your second and third fingers are on the sixth string of the uh, sixth fret of the second and third strings, sorry. And then the uh, pinky is gonna be on the seventh fret of the G, no, D, sorry. So, so far I'm just gonna play this from the top. Then you're going to play that basically from the beginning again. Then you're going to be playing this D shape where it's 7th um, fret, 8th uh, fret, and then 7th fret. Okay, so now we have, like I said, this D shape. Um, so, so far on the second part we go so what you do is that you play the D shape so you go play the three uh, first three strings and then play the second string and the third string so So then you So we have this. Then we're gonna get into this little lick where we have our two fingers like this, our um, second and third finger like this, just anywhere really, um, on the um, second and third strings. Now I'm gonna slide them to the twelfth. Sorry, and then you're gonna take our first uh, finger and put it right here on the 10th fret. So we're gonna have this shape where it's 12, 12, 10. So. That's what we're gonna be doing. So that's gonna be uh, strum the uh, second and third strings. So. And then play the um, first string, then second, and then put your pinky on the twelfth, so then that, so we have, it's gonna be, uh, second, third, first, second, first, first, second, now we're gonna get into this shape, like I said. Okay, we're gonna be using this shape a lot. Um, first finger on the tenth, uh, first finger on the first string, tenth fret, second finger on the second string, eleventh fret, third finger on the third string, twelfth fret. We're basically gonna be doing that again, but kind of different. So then we play the, the second and third string again. First string, second, and then add your pinky on the swath again, so, and then play that, so. So it goes like this. So then you're gonna be playing this where you bar the uh, first three strings mm -hmm. on the ninth fret and put your third finger on the first string 10th fret, so. And then go to this D shape. And then back to this, the one that we started off with. So, I'm just gonna play through that all again.
to an interlude part where it goes like this. So um, that's the little interlude we're gonna be doing. Um, so that chord that we just played to go. That, um, we're gonna be using that again. So um, first string is 10th fret, and then the second and third strings are 12th fret. So, so we're gonna be strum, strum, add the pinky on the 12th. And then we're going to be doing this chord, which is um, the first string is 10th fret, second string is 8th fret, third string is 9th fret, and still adding the pinky on the 12th, so. And then, like we did in the intro, you're going to play this. Where it's basically you're barring the um, the tenth uh, fret for the first three strings, but then you're gonna add this, which is the eleventh fret of the G string. So, um, so so far we have. Hammer on like we did in the beginning, so. And then you're playing the first string, so. First string. Move your finger down to the ninth fret first string. So. Which is hammer on first string down to the ninth fret, twelfth fret, tenth fret, hammer on again, twelfth fret. And nine, so. Let's play that again. Okay, and then we're gonna be doing that again. That little part. But then you're gonna go. Um, so this shape, you're not going to be playing any of the second string, it's just going to be the third and the first. Um, and this is where I like to use my finger picking a little. But so, you're going to slide into this where it's 6th um, fret of the third string and 5th fret of the first string. So, play this string first. So. And then you're going to slide into it. but where you're playing the same fret on each string. And you do that same thing again, where you do third and then first. So then you start playing them together, so it goes. Then you slide to the, uh, you move to the eighth, play them together, ninth, um, seventh, and then back to the first string. And then you go back to playing the regular stuff. So the, in the outro is going to go like... Okay, so basically this is stuff you already know. You're just gonna be playing through. But then you're gonna hold on that kind of D shape, and then you're gonna go slide up to this little part. And then instead of going to the interlude, we go So that is like the intro, we go um, 
14th and 15th fret. Then you're gonna play this once and then slide down to the um, to the barring of the 10th and 12th. And then you're gonna bar these two strings. And then you're going to play a a um this is major, yeah, major bar chord on the, with the root being on the 10th fret of the E string. So, in all we have That's all for Jingle Bell Rock. Um, like I said, um, you could probably learn this before Christmas if you really worked hard. I think I'm going to post this Christmas Eve, so better work really hard if you want to play it for your family or friends or something. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Suggest any song you want. I will be glad to teach it to you guys. Um, that's all I have, and I'll see you in the next video.